Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the new Muslim workshop. My name is Mahmoud. Today we will learn the do's and don'ts of going to the masjid. In other words, the etiquette of being at the mosque. Stick around. Oopsie daisy now don't be lazy. It's time to go to the masjid. Time to go to the masjid. Time to go to the masjid. Welcome back. So as I see it, there will be maybe four different kinds of people that will want to come to the masjid. Number one, a person who's interested in studying Islam, kind of curious as to what's going on, what do they do in this masjid, in this mosque. The second kind of person is a person who wishes to become Muslim or a new Muslim that has never been to the masjid, never been to the mosque. The third kind of person is a Muslim that has never practiced their faith, that are interested in reconnecting with their creator. And the last kind of person is a Muslim that practices their faith, but might be ignorant as to some of the faux pas that are associated with going to the masjid. You should not be doing these things. And maybe they don't know them. Maybe they're not aware of uh, the fact that they're committing these faux pas. And so what we want to do is we want to clarify what to do uh, step by step and what to avoid. For somebody who is a non-Muslim who wants to come and visit a mosque, there are certain rules and regulations that you should follow. Number one, call ahead if you are unfamiliar with the services that are held at the mosque. For people who are not Muslim, the best thing you can do is Call ahead and find out when the services occur. Before you go to the mosque, it is important for you to understand that mosques are used heavily. They're, there's daily use, five times a day. And it is important to understand this because these are not abandoned buildings. If, it, if they are not being used for congregational prayer, they were often used to teach children Qur'an or adults how to read the Qur'an. So before you go, it is best for you to call ahead and figure out when the, the services will happen. So you will most likely find that mosques are busy all year round because we never stop praying. Other than the five daily prayers, there is a noon prayer on Friday called Al-Jum'ah, Salat Al-Jum'ah. And Salat Al-Jum'ah is a uh, prayer that includes a sermon. So if you go, you will hear a sermon. And I greatly advise you to go and do that. If, if anything, the best thing for you to do is go and sit in the back during a Friday prayer sermon. And this will give you some inkling of some of the practices of Islam. So for someone who is not Muslim, this is the best thing for you to do. And in many cases, um, it is important that if you decide to go on f in Friday prayers and you happened to go when the congregational sermon is in Arabic, it is okay for you to sit with somebody who is an Arabic speaker for them to translate the sermon to your language. However, I highly suggest that you ask the management of the mosque to know when an English language uh, sermon is going to be given because this will make your life a lot easier and in in which case you will be able to understand what's going on and hopefully after the sermon is done and after the friday prayer is gone you can go and ask the imam and you'll find hopefully an imam that speaks the english language and is able to answer your questions um, in detail same thing for someone who is new to islam or who would like to profess their faith in Islam, they want to, they want to declare their faith in Islam, which is called uh, the Declaration of Faith, which is al shahada. They want to give their shahada in front of a congregation. The best day you can do that is on Friday. So going to the masjid, the first thing you must understand is the majority of mosques will have carpeting inside, so you will have to take off your shoes and put it outside. This is the practice in 99% of mosques. You will need to take your shoes off and put it in the shoe section. It's usually very prominent where the shoes go and 
you will most likely find it towards the entrance of the mosque. So you will find a place for you to put your shoes and then you will go inside. What should you do before you go to the masjid? Number one is dress modestly. Dress, wear something that is not revealing. For men, don't wear anything that shows your shoulders. Don't wear short shorts or shorts that show off your legs. Same with women. For women, cover yourself and with the addition of wearing a scarf. Try to cover your hair if you decide that you are interested in attending a, a service at the mosque. When you go into the mosque, usually there are two entrances to the mosque. Usually there's an entrance for the men and an entrance for the women. For anybody who is not familiar with how uh, mosques are set up, usually you will find that the congregation will pray or face Mecca so that the mosque is built in a way where there is a specific place that signifies the direction towards Mecca that is called the Qibla. Most likely you will not be anywhere in that area. You will probably be in the back. You will sit in the back where there are chairs and usually there are chairs in the back specifically for the elderly and those who are ill or sick and are unable to uh, sit on the floor. The floors are carpeted, so they're usually comfortable. It is important before you go to the masjid that you are aware of your odor. Do not eat onions, do not eat garlic, uh, I mean uncooked, like if it stinks, don't eat it. Do not smoke before you go into the masjid as these things are highly disliked inside of a mosque. And this is important for all four categories. Whether you are non-Muslim going to visit or you are a Muslim that's going to pray at the mosque, it is very important that you do not eat garlic or onions or have smoked before you go into the mosque so that you don't stink up the place and you don't distract the congregational prayers uh, with your smell. It is also important that you do not walk in front of somebody who is praying. If you see somebody that is praying and they are facing the Qibla, don't walk in front of them. Continue to walk towards the back of the mosque and sit in the chairs that are there for the elderly and the ill. If they're full, just sit on the ground there and enjoy the congregational prayer. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is that you have to be on your best behavior. You have to be respectful. You have to switch off your phone. And if you are going with a companion, you are not to speak to your companion in a way that other people who are currently praying can hear you because this is considered a distraction to them. So if you are overly loud, please be self-aware and make sure that your phone is on silent or at least on vibrate so that you do not disturb anybody who is currently praying and you do not speak to your partner or anybody else there in a loud voice. So please be, be aware of any obnoxiously loud conversation. It is very important that you do not bring in any food into the mosque. Unless it's a cookout, unless it's something that where you're invited to a barbecue or something similar, please do not bring any food or drink into the masjid. This is important because usually the uptake of the uh, carpets, etc., these are it's expensive and it is not respectful of the people that attend the mosque that someone comes in and you know spills crumbs everywhere, etc. So it is highly frowned upon for anybody to eat at the mosque. The mosque is also not a place for you to sit down and discuss business. This is not something that is appropriate. The mosque is the house of Allah and the house of Allah is specific for his remembrance. Uh, minor chit chat is not a problem. However, try to refrain from going to the mosque specifically so you can meet a business partner or meet a prospective client or something to that effect. If you wish to meet somebody uh, who and you know hire them or be hired by them, coffee shops are more than appropriate for you to go, not the mosque. And that's pretty much it. So 
If you decide you want to go to the masjid, understand that Muslims generally don't bite unless you are going and uh, committing one of these faux pas, uh, dress appropriately, speak with respect, call ahead, figure out who you need to talk to, and if you're a new Muslim, ask them about mentorship. See if there are any available people that will have the time to sit and uh, take your questions. Uh, in many cases, there are people who are available that will be more than happy to receive your calls or messages and answer your questions regarding Islam. I hope this was informative. I hope this uh, taught you something. And I hope this encourages you to go and reach out to your local mosque and give them a call and say, can I come and visit? Because you will find that Muslims in general are very, very friendly and they are very, very welcoming of people who are interested in learning about their faith. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.